Hey everybody, this is your daily dose of all things royal. Welcome back, my gorgeous, good-looking friends. This is just a quick video just to bring to you something that I found very interesting on Quora. So today I was just reading some forums and I stumbled upon a person who had posted about Meghan Markle three years ago. And as I dug into it, it turns out that this person was a former classmate and someone who went to college with Meghan. And what this person had said back in 2019 is something that I want to share with you guys because it's very relevant to what we're seeing today. So these posts were written right at the beginning of when Megan had her friends talk to People magazine about this letter that she wrote to her father, just to give you the time frame. So she was not out of the royal family yet. Is Megan a narcissist? Answer, yes. So one of the first posts that was put up was this question. What are your thoughts about Meghan Markle's inner circle standing up against the global bullying they are seeing? And this is about the People magazine and her friends coming forward to give that interview. And it says, it really shows how insecure Meghan is and how much she's craving to be like. If she just worry about doing her new job and stop trying to be in her old one, she'd find the whole thing easier. She insisted on not following the Queen's etiquette. The royals don't give interviews and defend themselves against gossip, so Meghan puts her friends up to do it for her. She's going to find that being in the royal family is going to get even harder. She might as well throw in the towel. You see, guys, the writing was on the wall, and no wonder why Meghan was so desperate to control the narrative, because she didn't want, really, for the world to see who she really was. And people like this, her you know, former friends or people that knew her growing, going to school realized that they were being shut down because there was such an active push to get or bully all these people off the forum. Next question, will Meghan Markle as an American be able to make it long term in the British royal family? No, she wants the adulation of the American public. Well, looks like that plan backfired. You know, I think there's still a part of her that believes that she can win the public's adulation somehow. Even though she has made a mess of this whole situation, I still believe that she's going to continue to keep trying. Have you changed your opinion of Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, since you first heard of her? If so, has it gotten better or worse? The response. As someone who has known Meghan since her college days, there's nothing at this point that can make me like her any less. I've said all along that she's full of herself and loves only that Harry is a prince, but he's so desperate to have a wife, he took the first woman who said yes. Yep, that sounds pretty accurate to me. Now, I thought this piece was interesting. This was actually a response to somebody else, and was talking about uh, the PR firm that she hired, which was Sunshine Sachs. And in it, she says, if she weren't trying to go Hollywood, why not listen to the PR that the palace already has in place? After all, have they not the better experience in handling royal family? Jeez, I could puke every time I say that. Like there's some gods or something. The whole premise of royalty is really stupid. Update. And... Does anyone believe for a moment that she's working in service of the monarchy more than for herself? You'd have to be an idiot to believe so. Getting with Harry was strictly a power move, and that's unfortunate for him. Maybe it wouldn't be if she loved him for who he is as a person and not who his family is, and they could plan to take on the world and do great things together as a couple. But her goal is only to get what she can for herself. Harry deserves better. Man, you gotta wonder, like, the people that I'm assuming the royal family did background check on Meghan, they had to have seen stuff in these forums about people who knew her saying this kind of stuff. Obviously, we know that a lot of the people that, you know, initially were talking about Meghan and who she really, really, really is as a person were bullied off or they were somehow banned from the platforms or they were threatened or they were doxxed and a lot of people shied away from speaking out about her. And you got to wonder if the royal family saw any of this kind of stuff as they were 
getting to know Megan early on? Or was she that good at cleaning up her profile to which she controlled it so much that nobody would dare speak out at her? Did she have people locked down in NDAs? Did she pay people off? I'm thinking she might have. The next one asks, what does Prince William think of Meghan Markle? Again, this was back in 2019. He thinks she's marrying Harry for status and not love. And he would be right. Think about it. Harry was angry when William didn't support him marrying her. That's the short version of the story. He made Harry feel like he either wasn't good enough to have a wife and that he's not wise enough to be able to pick a wife of good character or even that he picked a person who was not genuine. So not only was William attacking Meghan, he was in effect attacking Harry's ability to make sound decisions. Boy, that was spot on. To make Harry rise to a level of anger, what do you think William thinks of Meghan? Plus, I've never seen William act warmly to her in public. The whole family tolerates Meghan for Harry's sake. You don't need tabloids to tell you that. It's evident in their body language. William is not trying to hide his feelings on the matter, while Charles is being diplomatic so as to not hurt Harry's feelings. He's a little more discreet. You know, after all that's come out from this book's fair, you then realize that the signs were all there. Now, this one is really good. The question is, are the two duchesses, Cambridge and Sussex, actually feuding, or is it just fake news? I went to Northwestern with Megan, so I know her personality. I didn't keep in really close contact with her, although I've seen her in the last few years. But from what I saw, she was conceited. Looking at her now, she's an attention seeker. Even though I know her better than some on this board, there are things about her that are evident to onlookers who don't know her as quite as well. I've said that before. Look at how she flaunted herself in New York during the baby shower. But what I speculate is that she did rub Kate the wrong way because William isn't exactly warm to her in public. William also rubbed Harry the wrong way for not initially supporting the marriage, probably because he thought they were moving too fast. And also, he could see that Meghan is more in love with the prestige of marrying a prince than she is with Harry. I don't think she'd had given Harry a second look if he weren't a prince. Look at how she treated her first husband. When she wasn't getting out of him what she wanted career-wise, she dumped him by coldly sending back the wedding rings to him in the mail. No closure for him or anything. Why did she date him for years and have no children? Because she didn't want to be tied down to him if he didn't work out. And they dated for years before marrying. Not like this whirlwind courtship she had with Harry. I'm leaning towards saying that Trevor has something up his sleeve about her, but he's going to wait to reveal it. You know, there's been a rumor that's been running around about Trevor writing a book. I don't know if he would be bothered with this. I mean, he married um, a billionaires. I mean, why would he need to do a book and, you know, raise all the bad memories that he's had with this tyrant? The only way I see Trevor writing a book or speaking out about her is if Megan decides to attack him for some reason, whether it be speaking out and lying about his relationship and making him look bad. But I don't see that happening. And I don't think Trevor really cares to, you know, dig up old memories, which probably are painful for him. You know, he's got a life with, you know, a, a beautiful wife and a wonderful family. Why would he need to go back there? He doesn't. So my money is that he's not going to do it. Here's another question asking about what Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton were feuding about. It says, I actually think they were feuding. I speculate that Meghan feels jealous of Catherine because she will never be queen and Catherine will be one day. So she thought that she would come in like gangbusters and try to outdo Kate in dress and charm. That's why she's up in the morning diving into the role to see if she can be bigger better and faster than Kate. Although Kate may have felt intimidated initially, she probably collected her wits and knocked some sense into her own head when she realized that she's w winning on every front. And although I don't think Kate is a racist, 
she must have said to herself that aside from the fact that she'll one day be queen, produced an heir that will one day be the king. She's also more purely white, whiter than Markle, who's half black, a divorcee, and American. Where she really can't get at Markle too much is that she may be almost as attractive and has her own money, although I think that Markle is doing a bit of social climbing and does not love Harry as much as she loves the role. Hypothetically speaking, if William had asked her out over Harry, she'd chosen him for the simple fact that if Queen permitted, which I know she would not, she'd be the wife of a king. As you can see, I don't think highly of Markle. I don't think she's the right woman for Harry because she doesn't love him, but I can be somewhat objective. I would have to agree with this person on this one. You know that if Meghan had the opportunity to date or go out with William or steal William away from Catherine, which no doubt she probably tried, oh yeah, she would be after that. And that's probably another reason why Harry is so jealous of his brother and really insecure of his brother. The fact that he had to do this book to attack his brother shows his level of insecurity. This one, I think, is one of the best ones. It says the question, are the people who accuse the Duchess of Sussex of being difficult and manipulative likely to be telling the truth or just spreading jealous lies? As someone who stopped liking Meghan within six months of knowing her during college, I can say objectively there's probably a bit of both as to why negative stuff has been printed about her. I can tell you that much of the negative stuff is true. If you look back at posts, I've confirmed a lot of what has been said about her is true. What I really can't understand, somebody help me out here, is why anyone would be jealous of her. This next part is actually really funny because it's so true. She just married a well-known man, albeit himself a bum, so I'm trying to see how Harry is some great catch. He's balding, not that attractive, hasn't accomplished much, other than in her mind he'll bring her more publicity. Most men, who aren't desperate and who have a brain, would not want some gold digger on their arms mooching off of them unless perhaps the girl is extremely beautiful. And even then, most men will have SEX with someone like that but not marry them. As Philip suggested, Meghan played into Harry's desperation to have what William has. Boom! Mic drop. I thought that it was really interesting to share what somebody who actually knows Meghan Markle was like three years ago. Now, this person has stopped posting as of, I think, the end of 2020. I don't know what happened to them, but I sure hope that they do come back to, you know, sort of gloat and say, yeah, I was right. You see what happened? I told you she'd come back. Like, everything that this person called out. And there's some other things, too, that are actually quite funny. I just, you know, thought that these would be of interest because it really does reflect what we're seeing right now. Everything that this person has pretty much said she would do, did, because of the type of person she really is. And yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate that she took advantage of Harry, but at the same time, Harry, we're getting to see what he really is like. And honestly, I think the two of them really do deserve each other because it just shows how both of them are truly selfish and, you know, just really not nice people who had an agenda to be self-serving at the expense of vulnerable people. And that's what we're seeing unfold. It is validating when you look back and you find these little gems of people who had been echoing, you know, some of the messages that we've been echoing now here on this channel and realize that, you know, you're not alone in calling out the lies, the manipulation, and what your gut was telling you when you first saw this couple getting married. So I thought it would be fun to sort of reflect and look back and pull out this person who knew Meghan Markle and was kind of calling it from the beginning. So I thought this would be of interest to you guys. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. 
as you know it, I will be back soon with more content. But until then, be safe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I was such a broad. <laughs>